You ever wanted a plugin to randomly generate compositions for you? Let me introduce you to Insta Composer. Some of you guys probably already know about this plugin. I've actually had this for quite some time. So the first thing I want to do is create an instrument track and a MIDI track. So we're going to create two instrument tracks. And we're going to create one MIDI track. On the first track, I'm going to load Insta Composer. On the second track, I'm going to load one of my favorite instruments that ship a Pro Tools, Expand 2. Your DAW might actually ship with some amazing instrument plugins. You could use one of those. So now that we have our instrument tracks and we have a MIDI track, let's route everything together. So the first thing I want to do on the instrument track, the input, I want to select channel one of Insta Composer, and on the second one, expand to the first channel, which is already selected. Great. So now that Insta Composer is open, to the left, we have these five tracks. We're only going to focus on the first one. So to the bottom left, we want to make sure that number one is selected and we just press this go button and check this out. Automatically draws some MIDI data. Now, if we did all our routing correct, we should hear some sound. Wait a minute, we didn't hear anything. The reason why we have to arm the MIDI track. So now that it's armed, So now that we have some sounds, what else can we do? We have another four tracks available. We can use those if we wanted to as well. We take a look at a plugin like Expand. As you can see, we were listening to the first sound that we had here. So we have another three slots. I currently have something loaded here. Now, the way this works, I want to make sure that it's on. Let's create another uh, MIDI track. We're going to do the same thing, basically. Except this time, we're going to select channel two. Want to make sure we arm the track for record. Make sure we select two and generate, and we should have some sound. Now, I did this on purpose. The reason we don't have any sound, if we look at expand, want to make sure that we select the MIDI input to two. So we have a bit of an issue here. I can't arm both of these tracks. So what we have to do is hold down shift, select MIDI 1, MIDI 2, and now we should have some sound. So that's Insta Composer. What a powerful plugin, and it makes things so much easier. And of course, you're going to have better sounds than I do. I have so many instruments, I don't have them all installed. As far as DSP usage, if we look at system usage, it's not really doing anything, so I wouldn't worry about it. And remember guys, we do have some presets here, so I would definitely take a look at those presets and use them as a starting point. So we have the capability of dragging your MIDI notes. We can save, we can clear, we can copy, we can paste. So if we copy and then we come up here, we paste, which is pretty neat. You have your random velocity. And over here, we have some other options that you should definitely take a look at. I didn't want to make this video really long. But what I wanted to focus on is the setup, the routing. Because if you're starting out, that might confuse you. On their website, they have some tutorials. FL Studio, MIDI routing, Ableton, Logic, Cubase, and Studio One. So I'm going to link that in the description. So here's what I want you to do. If you found this video to be useful, press the thumbs up. First time watching one of my videos, subscribe, press the bell for future notifications. Again, I want to thank you for watching this video. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Later guys.